Let's go! Steelers with a magnificent come from behind victory in the fourth quarter once more. Let me tell you something right now. All right. Is it false hope? Absolutely. Is it delusion? Somewhat. But the Pittsburgh Steelers are still alive in the 2022, now 2023 playoff race. Let me tell you something right now. All right. It's similar to last year. We have no business being alive for the postseason at this point in the season. But for whatever reason, this team continues to be resilient. 198 yards on the ground. Our best performance running the football this season when it comes to importance and the need to have it kind of situation in this particular game. Pittsburgh came up clutch. Kenny Pickett, back-to-back -back weeks. Prime time. The world watching. When you needed a drive, he put together a drive to win this game. Finding Pat Fryermuth at midfield. Then, finding Sims inside the 25. My God, we're watching this man grow up before our eyes. We've dealt with Big Ben. We've seen the clutchness of this man. Perhaps it's hell of a shoe to fill. But we've got a guy who we've seen can go down the field when it comes clutch time. Maybe you don't have to cover your eyes when the offense is on the field. Maybe you don't need to hold your breath when the offense is on the field. Because now, back-to-back -back games, in games where you had your back up against the wall, where you needed to win to keep your playoff hopes alive, we watched Kenny Pickett come up big. Our run game, spectacular. Our pass game, we need a little bit of work. But when we needed it, we had our players there. Defense, phenomenal job. We gave over 100 on the ground, all right. But big, big stops on third down late in the doggone game. We did not give up points in the fourth quarter. We showed up when we needed to make plays. And, of course, Minka Magic at the end of the game with the interception. Chris Boswell doing to one off the upright. Yes, indeed, he did. But, ultimately, did it play a role in the conclusion of this game? No, it did not because we messed around and we won this doggone game. If he made it, of course, we could have settled for a field goal, run the clock out. We probably would have never had a Minka interception because we would have messed around and ran the ball out when Baltimore had no timeouts remaining. But we ain't talking about that right now. One way or another. We got ourselves a W, and next week, we need a little bit of help. We need the Jets to take care of business in their game against Miami. Tua most likely will be out. Teddy Bridgewater, although I'm not somebody who cheers for injury, I'm not somebody who's happy about injuries, he's been somewhat fickle thus far this season to where he gets hit and all of a sudden he can't finish the game. Then ultimately, we need Buffalo to take care of business against um, the uh, 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 against the um, New England Patriots, where the Patriots they had a very good game this week against the Dolphins. But um, we need Buffalo to go and kick their doggone asses, and Buffalo will have something to play for because uh, the Chiefs got their W here today. So Buffalo is playing for that number one seed and home field advantage and that bye. So they'll have something to play for. So we'll need them to take care of business. You know, playing against um, New England. So, but we got to take care of business. All we can do is control what we can control. If we make the playoffs, great. If we don't, let's at least get a W next week and make sure that Tomlin does not have that losing season. But hell of a goddamn turnaround from the bye week, man. We were sitting at two and six. Nobody believed in us. And what did we do? We turned this whole goddamn season around. We sitting over here with the defense that has played magnificent over the course of the past eight games. We sitting at six and two. Who the hell would have thunk it? We eight and eight after starting two and six. This don't make sense. It's as if Tomlin is allergic to having a sub 500 season. And all of a sudden it gives you that form of belief. Because we're not a team that can win a Super Bowl. But let's be honest here. You sitting watching Pittsburgh Steelers games, despite the fact that you can sit here and you can view it like, man, you know what? This team is all right, but we ain't nothing great. You have nothing but hope and faith that you'll win games. Because this is what Pittsburgh does to you. It gets you in your feelings. It gets your goddamn adrenaline pumping. It gets your hope and your goddamn optimism at an all-time high. Because I'm sitting here watching this football team thinking, man, if we make the playoffs, maybe we can shake some stuff up.
But we don't need to worry about that right now. We need to focus on where we are right now. And that's one more week. Next week against Cleveland. They done beat us early in the season. I believe it was, what was it, week three, week four? I believe it was week three. Whatever the case may be, prime time Thursday night football. Next week, we take care of business. All we got to do is sit there and wait. Maybe look at the scoreboard. Maybe see what's going on. But we take care of business. We could possibly mess around and qualify for the postseason. And we have a chance at redemption. Last year, we played a good quarter and a half, and then we got our asses, you know, destroyed by Kansas City. Maybe this year we can have something different. But one way or another, we got ourselves a W. Not only to keep our playoff hopes alive, but we also beat Baltimore. Come on now, they beat us for the first time in three years earlier on this season. We bounced back and we got ourselves a W. We have kicked ourselves in the foot all season. I done dropped my goddamn banner. We done kicked ourselves in the foot all season long. This time around, we turned things around and we finished the doggone season strong. Pittsburgh, we got the W. Celebrate today. And next week, we'll see what our fate is. But all I know is Cleveland, trouble is on the way. Steelers on three, win on six. One, two, three, Steelers. Four, five, six, win. Let's get this W, baby. I done dropped my goddamn banner. I'm going to put it up right now. I'm, I'm going to leave this son bitch up all week. Because nobody can tell me nothing. I'm fixing to take a drink right now. Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. No way to break in the New Year better than a Pittsburgh Steelers W. Cheers to you. Ah, nothing like a Pittsburgh Steelers W, baby. Let's go. Let's go.